Good morning, I'm Brian Reagan. This is Tyler Kelly. And uh, on this Saturday, we welcome you back to Deuteronomy 28, 1 and 2. Tyler, go on ahead and read those. Now it shall come to pass that you diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God to observe carefully all his commandments, which I command you today. The Lord your God will set you high above all of the nations of the earth. And all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you because you obey the voice of the Lord your God. Did you ever run track when no, you sir. were younger? No, sir. <clears throat> I used to, back in the day when, you know, the mile was the longest run that you had in track and field, uh, short of, you know, marathons and cross country, because cross country hadn't really come in yet. <clears throat> the one thing you never wanted was to be the guy that was so slow on a mile run, yeah, that you got lapped. Yeah, go ahead. You can say it louder. Yeah, you got lapped. You got lapped right do you understand the lord here is saying even though you're running right the blessing of the lord will lap you it will overtake you you know <clears throat> you know this this is the image i'm so far ahead of you i'm actually behind you now and some people what yeah if you don't know what that phrase means you ain't never competed all right but if you ever competed against somebody that handed you your lunch and you re and you realized they were so far ahead of you, they were behind you and they were about to eat your lunch and take you over again. Well, that's what he says about the blessing. The blessing going to eat your lunch and then the blessing will fix your lunch. And it'll be a better lunch than the lunch you brought. That's the old covenant standard. But too many Christians today be like, Look, Lord, I know that you've set before me a beautiful feast and you've had it catered, but I want my white bread sandwich with extra white mayonnaise, with extra white mayonnaise, with a slice of lettuce, a leaf of lettuce on there, and, and extra white mayonnaise on it, served with a serving of bland, because that's how I'll be humble, Jesus. Yeah, it's horrible, isn't it? That sounds atrocious. <laughs> and the Lord's like, the Lord's like, you ain't got to eat mayonnaise. No one has to eat mayonnaise ever again because I'm the Lord Jesus. And no one has to eat white bread again because I'm the Lord Jesus. I give you good bread. <coughs> you know, I've been the Lord who makes good bread. The Lord's like, I made manna back in the day. I gave Ezekiel a recipe for good bread. Right? He said, oh, brother, you're, 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 you're going too far. God won't do that for us. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me. What does he say? Oh, he anoints my head with oil. oil. And thou preparest to place for me in the what? Presence of my enemies. In the presence, in the midst. You prepare a table for me in the midst of mine enemies. My cup, what? What's Runneth my over. Runneth over. Yeah. Yeah. Right? You got this cup, right? And everybody's walking around like, God, can I please have a communion cup of grape juice? Oh, thank you so much for your blessing. And he's like, bring your cup back here. I'll run it over. And people are like, oh, no, I want to be humble. I just want a tiny sip of juice. No. That's not the blessing that overtakes you. That's not, no. He said, well, yeah. Yeah, I'm a little bit passionate about this. You say, this, no, this ain't health and wealth. This is the covenant of God. He's the one that put this stuff down. He's the one who bound himself to these contracts. He's the one who said, we have a better covenant built on better promises. And if this is the promise under them... He said, what about people in third world countries? It, you know what? Most of the missionaries who went to those countries didn't believe that God cared one bit about our physical needs. And so you know what those people learned from us in our theology? Even though we were Americans with all of our needs met, those people started to believe that God only cared about their souls and didn't care about their bodies. You know, I can't, I can't do anything about past. But I know this. I know there's some places around the world where there's preachers who are opening their Bibles and going, well, God said it. It don't matter what the American theologians say. 
God says that I'm going to believe what God says. And, and, and those churches are prospering, thriving, and doing well. And souls are being saved by the tens of thousands every year. Why? Because a blessing overtake you. God be so far ahead of you that he's behind you. And he's about to lap you again. The question is whether or not you're going to get on board with it. That's the real question. So, Tyler, when do we hope to see him again? This Sunday at the Lake Butler Church of Christ in Lake Butler, Florida at 9.30 for our Bible class and 10.30 for our worship service, both in person and on our live stream. All right, with that, I'm Brian Reagan. This is Tyler Kelly. Have a great remainder of your Saturday and have an even better Sunday by joining us tomorrow.